Hey guys, it's Ivy here and welcome back to another episode of our Alphabet Zoo in Planet Zoo. So immediately right off the bat, you guys can see a lot of differences, a lot more foliage and actually some buildings in here. So what I did is I spent a lot of time off camera trying to pretty up the zoo and add, you know, some of the boring stuff. And I'm kind of glad I did because if I'm not lying, I've been at this since like nine o'clock this morning and it's now 2.30. So it's taken me every bit of that many hours to do all of this stuff. So we'll just take like a small little zoo tour real quick just to show you guys what all I've added. Right out of the gate, you will see that I've added some plant. We have our information center now over here, moved from over here. Got two of them now as well. Basically the first information center had a very high demand. So I put a second one in there to try and help that demand. As you can see, there's plenty of people over here. Then I added a Looney Balloons and a Hat Fantastic over here. That's not really busy as of yet. You know, nothing's going on on this side of our zoo. Added a couple of bathrooms. I've got this one and this one. And then I've also added a waterfall feature. I I tried my best. I'm not very good with waterfall features at all. As you can kind of see that this is, it's still coming out of the waterfall area. I don't really know how else to make it look like there's water there when there, you know, there's really not water. So that, that's the best I could do. I added some lily pads to try and make it look like there is more water in there as well. We have our picnic tables over here with some umbrellas, although it's pretty shady. So I don't think anybody really gets much sun over here. I do have a third bathroom over here next to all of the food and the drink, you know, another accessible bathroom since I neglected everybody for like five years with a bathroom in the zoo. Otherwise, you know, education still lacking, but I've had this pause most of the time, so I haven't really had my veterinarians doing a lot of the research. But anyway, so we've got this and I moved what, uh-oh, we got meerkats about to inbreed. I need to go through all those animals too real quick. But instead of having our staff facilities all back here, I moved them and I have a building right over here full of all of the staff buildings, every single one of them. It's not pretty in here. I did my best, but it's really not pretty. So we have everything, you know, the research center, workshop, quarantine, the vet station, all of that good stuff in here keeper hut and then over here this is the aardvarks and the meerkats which i need to go through the meerha meerkats because i know they breed like no other and then so over here we have the loop path that we started off with and then i had a trash cans in here i kind of thought that maybe it would look like the column is wrapped but there's functional trash cans there so that's what i did if that looks dumb i'll definitely move them you guys let me know because i i don't know if that really looks dumb or not like i I was hoping I came up with something there, but I don't think I did. <laughs> so anyway, I added some more plants over here. So when you're coming through this way, you don't really see these buildings so much. And we will hold off going this way. As you can see, there's a whole lot going on over here. But over here, we have the zebras and the buffalo right here. I added another large staff room and a large keeper hut. I figured this one is closer to all of the habitats that we have right now. And it's closer to the entrance of the these two so that they're not running as far and quite frankly I really did need a larger staff room and a larger keeper hut because of how fast the zoo is growing so we added those in and while we're over here I had to fix up this habitat a little bit as you can see it is way bigger because we have so many animals in here and even still they are needing more space technically I think it's just barely yeah they they're not happy but before they were really not happy so I opened this up I added of different rocks because the coverage area for these guys are not very good at all the buffalo and like anything that's there they're like no we can't walk by that so they are really what's struggling I think the zebra are pretty well off I would say um, maybe about the same but I also fooled around in here with these I got rid of some of the stalls just to make there be more room in here for them it just made more sense to just do that and even though I want it realistic you know you you gotta do what you gotta do to make the animals happy happy because if these guys aren't happy then we'll never get a good zoo rating and we'll always have protesters so over here now going back um added some rocks here because there's a little green patch so i was trying to hide that added some rocks here so you wouldn't see back over here all these buildings and what's really new is all of the drinks and food and bathrooms and then these are the loony balloons and i think hats again are just a memento yeah i 
always do those because I don't know. I like seeing the guests run around with hats on and the balloons. So <laughs> I, I just use those two a lot. And this, I'm not going to lie, this is a blueprint in the game. So I just plopped that there. I did a couple of edits. So like I added this thing, uh, I changed the sign and then I added that there. And then we have some columns here, but otherwise it's pretty well the same. We've got benches, trash cans, all kinds of good stuff over here. Just as another area in like more central area to eat and drink. If you look over here, there weren't that many drinks and food. Like right here when we first started, I only had one food stall and one drink stall. So I added these over here originally, especially because a lot of the guests were over here. But as time's gone on, you know, like I added more over here just when I was tweaking because it makes sense to have a bunch of that stuff. So I just added that and then back in here, not really much else. I added a hippo statue because I'm like, what's a zoo without a hippo statue? <laughs> and then this has stayed the same except I had to go in here and change this, which I knew I should have done to begin with. I don't know why I didn't. I made this the one way glass because we about had protesters again. They were walking in the zoo <laughs> because these guys were stressed. So I fixed that up. And otherwise I think everything has stayed the same here, I believe. I don't remember that I've changed anything else except this glass. So it looks like I need to move this over a little bit. There we go. Missed that somehow. But anyway, so that's the zoo update. Not a whole lot going on. I mean, obviously I did fix a couple things. It was just really time consuming. Again, I'm just really glad I kind of didn't record that. I just, I don't know, something about it is boring. If you guys want to know what all I did, you guys can, you know, let me know and I can kind of go through it a little bit. I also discovered that these trim items were a thing. Didn't know that those existed until I looked at another blueprint that, for, that came with the game. And I was like, oh my gosh, I like that. And so I, I've been using them all over the place. If you see, like they're all over the place now. My new favorite to rim item. I love it. But anyway, so I think we have enough talking. I am going to go in here and manage some of these animals, try and get rid of some of them and put some of them up for adoption. I think it'll just mostly be a lot of the meerkat, not really seeing anything else that's really able to go. We have a lot of babies, a baby addict. Oh my God, we gotta see the baby addicts. Oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think I found my new favorite animal. Look how freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I just want to kiss it on its little head. Look at it. <gasps> okay, anyway, so I need to go through these animals and we are gonna build another habitat. I think I'm going to end up putting it like over here. I think we're gonna end up having to build I know you guys can't see, I'm sorry, because of the rain. I think we're gonna end up having to build these like right on top of another because of how many animals we're putting in the zoo. Uh, before the update came out, there was 119 and they added seven animals, this new pack. So now we, there is 126 animals we have to add in the zoo. And granted, I am doubling up a lot of the animals where I can, but st still with doubling them up, they need a lot of space. They need more space than usual. So I'm having to make these giant habitats to fit all these animals in and it's just <laughs> it's becoming a whole lot I feel like these two habitats right here are huge for the amount of animals but I don't know I could just be overthinking yes so this episode we are actually going to do the dromedary camel and the Somali wild ass I don't know why that feels so weird saying that even though that's the actual name of the animal it's just so weird saying it on camera I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna get censored or something <laughs> but yeah so um anyway we are going to go ahead and I will let this run through so that we can actually see where it's daytime and there's no rain and we'll go ahead and start building this habitat.
All right, guys, and we are back in here with our habitat now built. And again, I tried to do the stall and I only was able to really pull off one. So this is what we're at. I feel like it's a little bare in here, but quite frankly, like I'm not sure what else to add. I mean, I guess I could add trim on the inside, but I'm not, not too sure. We've got all this going. I did not add a keeper station here. I didn't know if I really wanted to with this being like a fence, if I wanted to do that or not. Oh my gosh. Okay. How cute. Oh my goodness. Whoa, jumping the fence, I see. Well, the cool thing is, is you're not going anywhere, buddy. Now he's probably gonna get mad, isn't he? Like, oh, I have no space. Oh no, he's still cool. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> But yeah, so we have that going and then I tried to make it kind of like a barn and I don't know what happened here. Um, I tried to make it kind of like a barn, but I didn't really want it like a typical barn because these are desert animals. So I went with the conservation siding and some wood, just kind of give it that feel. I'm not sure if I'm completely sold on the color, but it does kind of blend in with the rock. So that's why I kind of went with that. I thought it looked good, but yeah. And then I used the faux tree trunk and learned this from the lady designer to kind of weave them in and out together and create a wall. So we went with that and then I used some more faux rocks and some desert rocks and this is what we've got and they should have plenty of space it looks like when i looked in here that they do but granted when they have babies that will be something else and i decided to try and do a cover for them as well here for the guests i'm not sure how well i like it but i wanted something to kind of be different and break it up a little bit and this is what i came up with it's obviously not perfect and i'm sorry i'm i'm not perfect at this game it i try but it just isn't doesn't happen um oh i didn't mean to follow you just trying to fix something but see, exactly, like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not perfect at this game, clearly. But yeah, so have that going. And I also apologize as well. I forgot to turn my face camera off when I was recording the whole like hour and a half of me doing this so i don't know how i'm gonna edit that i'm either going to try and cover my face up or you guys just get to see me hanging out like going super fast which will be super distracting so we'll see how that works out so fingers crossed we i get that figured out yeah so we have a bunch of animals going we have a ton of money and i'm not quite sure how we have a ton of money and i also need to do some landscaping out here sorry i'm all over the place i just keep like looking at little things and i'm like oh yeah i need to do that too and that and that but yeah i want to do something more with the camel I just put it here so I don't forget to use the camel I I saw that statue and I was like I really like that so I just really want to use that you know somewhere make it a focal point maybe right here and other than that these guys are so cool I don't know if they can spit at the people I think that's down far enough where they can't spit but I looked at a picture I had a reference picture of the habitat that I wanted to go with and that's how their habitat was it was sloped down you can see the animals up here the animals are eye level right here but it slopes down so the animals can't get out so you can still see them but you know they can't get out of there which i've heard is pretty much what all the designers of the zoo try to do is get you as close to the animals as you can obviously without it being dangerous so this is uh my go-to with it oh my gosh this is my first look at these guys and how cute my goodness wow and how detailed too like you got the little face vein right there little stripes oh my goodness look how cute oh and your little eye twitched when you were sleeping oh i seen that that was so cute <laughs> oh look at your little ears oh i love you oh my goodness how cute but yeah, anyway they are adorable i love them that was quick everyone like piled in and then they're like yeah we're out of here oh no and then we've got a lot going on over here where everybody is like stuck i'm sure people will uh will get to move in let's try and help them out a little bit i know you're not looking at those animals from way back here i know for a fact you're not looking at the animals from way back there that's not no see that drives me nuts they should not be able to see the animal from right here and watch they're probably gonna be like oh yeah we're not getting a good view of the animals from right here well yeah because you're out here and you're looking through the rocks like oh wow and our camels are already about to make a baby ow <laughs> look at you guys. <laughs> Jeez. 
too cute. All right, anything else going on? Tickets are underpriced again, so let's raise these bad boys. Ooh, not that much to like 19 and 16. Got some more vet research complete. Slowly but surely getting there, which is all that matters. But anyway, you know, I think I will go ahead. Ooh, they're making a baby too. That's a baby making. I think I will go ahead and call this an episode. But yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye guys.